The concept of immortality has captivated humanity for centuries, yet it often feels like a distant dream. Futurist and inventor Ray Kurzweil boldly predicts that we could achieve immortality by 2030, just five years from now. According to Ray, you're going to have relationships with machines. Computers will have consciousness in just 25 years. You're saying millions of tiny computers floating around in my head? The singularity is near. What does singularity mean? When you say uh, uh, the singularity is coming, what does that mean exactly? And that's what you mean by the term singularity? Is immortality possible? Now, before you dismiss this as nonsense, remember Ray Kurzweil's track record. When he predicted the rise of the internet, computers beating humans at chess. Deep Blue was a supercomputer that was designed to play chess at the world-class level. It was based on an IBM high-performance computer of the day, a supercomputer. But in addition, we added some special purpose hardware that it was able to accelerate certain parts of the computation and make it vastly faster. And the shift to wireless technology, no one believed him. People thought his ideas were far-fetched, yet many of his predictions have come true. His most famous one is about AI and the singularity. Uh, Stanford has actually been monitoring my predictions. They called an international conference to talk about my prediction, and hundreds of AI scientists came from around the world, and I've talked to actually some of the people who were there who said 100 years then, and they're basically agreeing it's going to happen very soon. Musk says it's going to happen in two years. It's not an unreasonable position. Other people saying three or four years. I'm sticking with five years. The moment when machine intelligence surpasses human intelligence, which he believes will happen by 2045. Today, tech giants are racing to advance AI. While systems like ChatGPT and Bing AI have made progress, they're still far from the level needed to reach the singularity. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. In interviews since the release of his book, Kurzweil has stuck to this timeline. For example, in a 2017 interview with Futurism, he predicted that by 2030, technology will allow us to extend human life expectancy by over a year each year. In the Lex Friedman podcast, when he asked, will Ray Kurzweil live forever? Ray replied. Well, immortality is hard to say. I can't really come on your program saying, I've done it. I've right. achieved immortality. Right. Because it's never forever. <laughs> um, a but, long time. A long time of living well. But we'd like to actually advance human life expectancy, advance my life expectancy more than a year every year. And I think we can get there within, by the end of this decade. Nanorobots. Futurist Ray Kurzweil predicts that the advancements in genetics, robotics, and nanotechnology will soon result in nanorobots coursing through our veins. These tiny robots measuring between 50 and 100 nanometers in diameter will primarily be used in medical applications such as DNA probes, cellular imaging materials, and cell-specific carriers. Kurzweil believes that nanorobots will revolutionize medicine by repairing our bodies at the cellular level, making us immune to diseases, aging, and ultimately, death. Moreover, these nanobots could continuously monitor the body's functions, allowing for the early detection of health issues. Kurzweil also speculates that they could be programmed to perform intricate genetic repairs or replace damaged genes through advanced gene therapy techniques. This vision is in alignment with current research in nanomedicine, which explores the possibilities of using nanoparticles to deliver drugs and treat diseases, suggesting a future where such technologies are commonplace. Digital Immortality He also suggests that people could eventually upload their consciousness into digital form achieving true immortality. In a 2016 interview with PBS News, Kurzweil discussed the possibility of extending human life expectancy beyond our current limits. He believes that in the near future, 
people will add more time to their life expectancy than the time it takes to achieve such advancements. By 2029, Kurzweil believes that individuals who actively utilize emerging health technologies might reach this threshold, meaning they could theoretically live indefinitely if they continuously offset the aging process with technological aids. As medical technologies evolve, maintaining health could become as routine as regular checkups, focusing not just on extending life, but significantly enhancing the quality of life during those years. In an interview, when Lex asked Elon Musk about his thoughts on immortality, Elon replied, And, and what is death but the loss of memory, loss of information? Um, you know, if you, if you could say like, well, if, if, if you could be, you run a thought experiment, what if, if you were disintegrated painlessly uh, and then reintegra reintegrated a moment later, like teleportation, I guess, uh, provided there's no information loss, the, the, the fact that your one body was disintegrated is irrelevant. And memories is just such a huge part of that. Death is fundamentally the loss of information. So if we can store them as accurately as possible, we basically achieve a kind of immortality. Yeah. AI and human integration. Furthermore, Kurzweil envisions a future where artificial intelligence, or AI, enhances human capabilities and health management. He predicts that AI will not only assist in medical diagnostics and treatments, but will also integrate with human cognitive processes. This might be achieved through brain-computer interfaces that connect human brains to cloud-based computing resources, enhancing cognitive functions such as memory and processing power. Another step then is in the 2030s when we can actually connect our neocortex, which is where we do our thinking, to computers. So I believe that will happen in the 2030s. We will actually... So just the way this is greatly amplified by being connected to the cloud, uh, we can connect our own brain to the cloud and uh, just do what we can do by using this machine. Do you think it would look like uh, the brain-computer interface uh, of like Neuralink? So would it be... Well, Neuralink is an attempt to do that. It doesn't have the bandwidth that we need. Um, Yet, uh, right? Right. This integration of human and machine intelligence could foster new types of intelligence that blend human creativity with machine efficiency, potentially leading to breakthroughs in various fields, including medicine. This isn't the only future prediction Ray made. He also talked about humans achieving AI singularity. If you're curious to learn more about this most popular prediction, check out the video on your screen.